This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. And on this day, November 22nd, 1986, one of the biggest boxing matches around happened. It was called Judgment Day for the WBC Heavyweight Crown. It would be huge. Burbeck versus Tyson from Las Vegas, Nevada at the Hilton. So anyway, this was big and all that. The three major boxing organizations, the World Boxing Council, the World Boxing Association, and the International Boxing Federation, or WBC, WBA, and IVF, teamed up with HBO, which was the pay-per-view network, to create a heavyweight championship tournament to make the first undisputed champion since Leon Spinks in 1978. All three of the heavyweight champions and several contenders were entered in the tournament. Trevor Burbeck took care of Pinklin Thomas, who was the WBC champion, to get his part of the um, thing. But his first WBC defense would be against Mike Tyson, who was sensational, 27-0 with 25 victories by knockout. Tyson had already fought 12 times in 1986 and took care of Alfonso Batlin. So Trevor Burbeck was an icon at age 32. He would be the champion. However, everyone thought that Iron Mike Tyson at age 20 was going to do it. He was 12 years younger and trying to surpass Floyd Patterson as the youngest man to win a heavyweight belt. There was a undercard. As Greg Page took care of Wimpy Halstead in round eight, Matthew Hilton, the Canadian, beat Franklin Owens in round two, and Pinklin Thomas knocked out William Hosea in round seven. So, pre fight, Burbeck was 31 4 and 1. His hometown was Jamaica, but he was fighting as a Canadian coming over to Canada. Mike Tyson from the Catskills, New York, 27 and Donut with 25 KOs. Burbeck was 6'2", Tyson was 5'10". 218 pounds was... Burbeck, Tyson was 221 going into the fight. So, it would be huge and all of that. From the opening bell, Tyson would be aggressive, taking Burbeck on with several powerful punches. Tyson would have a four-punch combination that sent Burbeck across the ring. Fortunately, Burbeck stayed on his feet. But Burbeck would get hit hard and all that. Round two, Tyson picked up where he left off. Dropped the champion. Fortunately, Burbeck was able to answer the count. However, Burbeck couldn't get any offense in, and Tyson, at the 235 mark of round two, took care of Burbeck with a right to the body and a left hook to the head. Burbeck attempted to get up, but failed. Tried again, but failed. Guess what? Burbeck loses the match via knockout. Mike Tyson crushed him. And Burbeck was crushed because Burbeck thought he would, he could contend and defend his title. But it didn't work out that way. So, anyway. It was just amazing to see how Mike Tyson could take care of things and win the heavyweight championship and become the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. Trevor Burbeck would still fight for many years, but he didn't have much success afterwards. Never again trying for the heavyweight belt. Anyway, Tyson would continue his dominance. He'd faced, he would face Bone Crusher Smith to win the WBA part of the heavyweight crown. And then after being Pinklin Thomas, he would face Tony Tucker, the IBF champion, and won my unanimous decision, which was shocking because I thought Tyson would knock out Tony Tucker. Anyway. You know, it was a huge thing to see Burbeck versus Tyson. 
and see Tyson at 20 years old become a heavyweight champion of the world. Which is just shocking. I mean, like, you know, at 20 years old, you're just getting into your boxing career, but then Tyson just went balls out and KO'd Burbick and took one third of the heavyweight belts, winning the other two belts later on in life. So, you know, Tyson's era was there. Burbick's had just ended. That's not nice at all. Anyway, I'm Jeff. I'm going to do.